In spoken English, it is common to contract the negative form of to be by adding not after the verb. For example, I am not here are some further examples of negatives with the verb to be in the present simple tense. I am not a doctor. You are not a student. He is not a teacher. She is not a nurse. It is not a book. We are not friends. As you can see, the negative form of the verb to be is simply am not, are not, is not, or are not. The only difference is the subject of the sentence. For example, I am not is used when the subject is I, while you are not is used when the subject is you. To form negatives with the verb to be, you can use the following formula. Subject plus am is, are plus not. The am is, are part of the formula changes depending on the subject of the sentence. For example, I am not a doctor. You are not a student. He is not a teacher. She is not a nurse. It is not a book. We are not friends. They are not happy. In spoken English, it is common to contract the negative form of to be by adding ent after the verb. For example, I am not can be contracted to I'm not. This is especially common in the present simple tense. Here are some examples of contracted negatives with the verb to be. I'm not hungry. You're not tired. He's not happy. She's not tall. It's not raining. We're not rich. They're not here. Read the blog and answer the questions. My name is Maria. I am not a native English speaker, but I am learning English. I am 16 years old and I am from Mexico. I am not tall, but I am not short either. I have long black hair and brown eyes. I am not shy, but I am not outgoing either. I am a good student and I like to read. I am not a doctor, but I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Maria is not a native English speaker. Maria is 16 years old. Maria is from Mexico. Maria is tall. Maria has short hair. Maria is outgoing. Maria is a good student. Maria is not a native English speaker. True. Maria is 16 years old. True. Maria is from Mexico. True. Maria is tall. False. I am not tall, but I am not short either. Maria has short hair. False. I have long black hair and brown eyes. Maria is outgoing. False. I am not shy, but I am not outgoing either. Maria is a good student. True. The present simple negative is used to express actions or situations that do not happen regularly or always occur. It is formed by adding do not or does not before the verb. Do not is used with pronouns that are I, you, we, or they. Does not is used with pronouns that are he, she, or it. Here are some examples of present simple negative sentences. I do not like coffee. You do not play the piano. We do not go to school on Saturdays. They do not live in a big house. She does not like to cook. 
Read the article and answer the questions. The fishermen of Japan are a hardy and dedicated group of people. They brave the elements to bring in the catch, and they play an important role in the Japanese economy. The fishing industry in Japan is one of the largest in the world. The country has a long coastline, and there are many different types of fish that can be found in its waters. The fishermen of Japan use a variety of methods to catch fish, including nets, traps, and lines. The fishing industry in Japan is facing some challenges. The demand for fish is increasing, but the supply is decreasing. This is due to a number of factors, including overfishing, pollution, and climate change. Despite the challenges, the fishermen of Japan are determined to continue their work. They know that the fishing industry is important to the country's economy, and they are committed to providing fresh fish for Japanese consumers. 1. The fishing industry in Japan is one of the largest in the world. 2. The most common fish caught in Japan is tuna. 3. Overfishing is one of the biggest challenges facing the fishing industry in Japan. 4. The fishermen of Japan are using more sustainable fishing practices to address the challenges facing the fishing industry. All of them is true. The verbs do and does are auxiliary verbs that are used to form questions in English. They are used with different pronouns depending on the subject of the question. Do is used with the pronouns I, you, we, and they. Does is used with the pronouns he, she, and it. To form a question with do or does, simply place the verb before the subject and add a question mark. For example, Do you like chocolate? Does she like to swim? Do we have to go to school tomorrow? Do they play soccer? Learning how to ask questions is an important part of learning any language. In English, there are many different types of questions, but some of the most basic questions are called simple questions. Simple questions are used to ask for factual information and they can be answered with a short answer, such as a yes or no, or a single word or phrase. Here are some examples of simple questions. What is your name? Where are you from? How old are you? Do you like to read? What is your favorite food? Simple questions can be formed in a few different ways. One way is to use the question word, which is the word that asks the question. For example, the question word what is used to ask for information about a person, place, thing, or idea. In the question what is your name, the question word what is asking for the person's name. Another way to form simple questions is to use the verb to be. The verb to be can be used to ask questions about a person's name, age, location, or marital status. For example, the question are you married? Uses the verb to be to ask about the person's marital status. Finally, simple questions can also be formed by using WH questions. WH questions are questions that start with the following words. Who? What? Where? When? Why? How? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.